Welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make this Dr. Strawberry Cake Mix. Here's what you'll need. Your favorite brand of strawberry cake mix, three ounce Jello, strawberry extract, buttermilk, eggs, butter, flour, and strawberry puree. Grab yourself a large mixing bowl and just dump everything into the bowl. That's the best part of this recipe is that it pretty much is a dump and go. You do want to make sure your butter is melted and it comes back down to room temperature. That way you don't cook your eggs because the butter is too hot. Also, just make sure all your ingredients are room temperature period so you don't end up with a curdled batter. For the box of Jello, I did go ahead and mix it with about two ounces of water. I recommend that you do not skip this step. If you just throw the powder into the cake batter, it may come out a little bit more dry. I find that mixing it with just a little bit of water to get this runny consistency is not only gonna give you a more moist cake, but it is gonna help keep that pretty pink color without adding extra food dye. And then of course you're gonna want to divide your batter evenly between two eight inch cake pans or three six inch cake pans. Bake those at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 to 30 minutes until a toothpick comes out with a few moist crumbs. I didn't show this step, but I do recommend that once your cakes are out the oven and have cooled down for about five minutes, flip those out of the pan, saran wrap them, and freeze them for at least 30 minutes. This is going to capture and keep all that moisture in the cake. Now, for the frosting, I am making a strawberry cream cheese frosting. All it is is butter, cream cheese, powdered sugar, strawberry puree, and that's it. Be sure to check the description box for the link to the full tutorial and recipe. If you only came for the recipe, then you can go ahead and dip out now. <laughs> now I'm going to show you how to make a heart shaped cake if you only have a round cake pan. All you have to do is start off by making two diagonal lines just to create the tip of the heart. I normally eyeball this, but you can use a ruler. And then you just want to put some icing at the top of the heart as well as on those two half circles and all you have to do is place the round circles at the top of the cake bend them in a little bit you might have to shave off some excess as you'll see me do and this will give you that beautiful heart shaped cake if you don't have a heart shaped cake pan Next, you want to apply a thick layer of cream cheese frosting in the center and then repeat the process with your second cake layer. Here's a little baker hack. In order to get a flat surface, take the last cake layer and just flip it over. Turn it to the underside and that will give you a flat top. So next, I'm just going to crumb coat the entire cake in a thin layer of frosting. Then I'm going to set that in the refrigerator and allow that to set for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then I'm going to come back and do a final coat and put that in the refrigerator for another 10 to 15 minutes.
Okay, now it's time to decorate. And I decided I'm gonna try my hand at a vintage <laughs> cake. So don't come for me too much. We are still working on our technique here. But I am using a leaf piping tip to make these ruffles just going up and down, up and down with this light shade of pink. And then I take my hot pink shade and use a 1M tip to make these shells. Again, I'm just piping up and down as slowly as possible. Next, I'm going to use a smaller version of the shell piping tip and just pipe more shells in the inner part of the cake as well as the bottom of the cake. And now I'm just going to finish off the cake by piping these small rosettes around the sides of the cake as well as some green leaves. And I figured I would also add a cute little love you message to the top. I just used some homemade marshmallow fondant and a silicone mold to cut out these letters. I'll be sure to link everything in the description box for you. So check there for any tools and products. But that's pretty much it you guys. Let me know what you think. I am telling you, you definitely want to give this recipe a try. No one will ever know it was a box cake. It tastes homemade. And my husband loved this. He tore this up. <laughs> but until next time, God bless.